For today I'm reading uh, Matthew 8 verses 23 to 27, Jesus come the storm. And this is my Bible, New International Version of it. So let's read. Then he got into the boat and his disciples follow him. Suddenly a furious storm came up on the lake so that the waves swept over the boat but Jesus was sleeping the disciples went and woke him saying Lord save us we are going to drown he replied you of little faith why are you so afraid then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves and it was completely calm then men were amazed and asked, What kind of man is this? Even the winds and waves obey him. Um, so let's go from the beginning. Then he got into the boat and his disciples followed him. So they went after Jesus. And then, uh, it's always in our life. So we, we think we follow Jesus, we go after him, and all of a sudden, this furious storm, furious, furious is like a, and not just a suddenly, suddenly, all of a sudden, this furious storm came out of nowhere. And we've seen, uh, in our life it might be the storm of our lives maybe facing unemployment divorce death losing the house who knows uh, we all have been there everybody had a storm at least once in their lifetime but I, as I remember I had lots and uh, and it says our question is like, we followed Jesus. We went, as the Bible says, we did everything that we could. We go to the church, we pray, we read the Bible. And why this is happening to me? The storm of our lives, you know, um, it comes suddenly. And in this case, uh, go back to the to the verse um, back there um, but Jesus was sleeping so so the disciples try everything try to um, lower the um, sailing cloth you know take it down um, probably one was steering it's hard to steer when the waves get you from one side to another left right you know you're coming or going um got water in the boat for sure um it says so that the waves swept, swept over the boat um they got the water in the boat they tried to get it out they probably had some had some tools or maybe with bare hands um they try everything as a human being. They try everything that they could to save the boat and save themselves. And um, you think we're doing the same thing in our lives when we face the storm in our life? We probably try everything. We try just say a sick person, try medication, went to the doctor, went to the hospital, or maybe went through surgery, tried everything in their own power and seems like nothing helps so far um, you're still sick um, or the divorce you try everything you fast you prayed but still you can't hold a man beside you or the woman the the wife and things happen without your control um, and then, look again. 
but Jesus was sleeping. What it means? In all your turmoil of, of your life, Jesus is there with you. You follow him. He is with you in that big storm. He is in your boat. That means he's in your life. Jesus never left you, never forsake you. He is there. He is calm. He's at peace. He's at rest. He is sleeping. I think the, the disciples came to their senses finally when nothing helped and the disciple went, I'm reading from the Bible, and woke him saying, Lord, save us. We are going to drown. Yelling, screaming, desperate. And Jesus wakes up and tell them, he replied, you of little faith, why are you so afraid? I said the final, when they got all their 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 um, strength and everything and then they found out they're in desperation there's no strength there's no hope then finally they called on jesus i wish they would call them they would call him first when the storm started first before they lost all their energy all probably just in our lifetime we lose our energy, our sleep, our money, everything is down the drain. Then we call on Jesus. Should we call him first? Um, look what he did. He says, oh, you of little faith, why you are so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and he was completely calmed. So... He rebuked the winds, the winds, the storm, the, the waves, those are um, bad, bad spirits, bad things that comes towards us in our life. He rebuked them. We're supposed to do the same. What I like in Mark uh, 4, verse 39, he said, they say, it's written, and he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. He tells, uh, he tells to the, uh, the wind to, to be still, like not to move. Like, you know, think about still waters. When they're still water, they don't move. They stay, like they freeze. They're frozen, like, like um, they, they don't move at all. Not frozen with ice, but like stay still. They don't move. And uh, look at the last verse. The men were amazed and asked, what kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. Well, who made the winds, the waves, the sea, everything? God. And he said, let it be light. Let it be trees. He, by, by, by his word, thing came into existence. Even the sea, the winds, even those evil winds, waves, they obey him. The sea obeys him. And he went, when the, uh, the master, when, you know, the king of kings and lord of lords tell, uh, tells the sea to be still, tells the wind to be still, they better obey him. So... Just say like when after the storm, don't you think that after the storm you learn something and like in the storm of your life, you grow as in the storm you fight, you have to make decisions, 
you have to um, use all your strength. Um, just say uh, you have to get the water out of the boat, right? You made some muscles. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Uh, <laughs> your muscle grew after that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but I'm saying that after the storm, um, you grew, you got experience, you got knowledgeable. Um, you know exactly what to do next. Who should you call first? How should I pray? Maybe you found a way of praying differently. Has to be a prayer from your heart. Um, and you learn yourself. You have the power to calm the storm. You can say, the, the, say to the wind, peace, be still. Even the wind by your door, the, the evil wind that comes to um, break the windows or um, get into your property there, destroy things around, you can tell that wind, be still and will listen to you. Um, we always have to think in a storm, Jesus is with us and that peace he is a peace a peace that surpasses all human understanding is the the big big peace that nobody can give you except jesus hold on him in in your storm of your life don't let him go call upon him hold on him he will help you through the storm the storm, the storm of your life. Amen.